<laughs> what are you eating? Yay. Is Isabel giving you an, an extra biscuit, is she? Is that what she's done? Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the Sullivan family. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. I think it's before eight o'clock because the teens are just getting ready to go to school. So they normally leave about five past eight. So I've got time. I've got time. Now, I was going to go down and do a sea check, but it's very cold this morning and it's quite windy. So I thought rather than going into Studio One, um, the shed, I just thought, you know what, I'll come in the lounge and, and start the vlog with these two little monkeys because all the little ones are getting their hair done. It's just all systems go, guys. Honestly, the kids are super excited uh, for going on holiday tomorrow. And we're all super excited, but also super, super busy with lots and lots of things to think about, lots and lots of things to do to try and fit in. Like, oh my <laughs> word! I got Zoe's tyres changed yesterday because they needed changing, she needed three tyres done. Um, so that got done yesterday. I've got my, I've got my, I've got my spare tire outside ready to. That's that's to go on Zoe's car as well. So we've got to do that today. Zoe is packing. Obviously, Isabel's at home as well. So Isabel's helping with that, and also Olivia. Yeah, on, and you're ho at home as well, aren't you, Joseph? Yeah. So Joseph is helping. Joseph is super, super excited. He's yeah. super excited, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I'm super Give me a high five. I'm super strong. He's super strong and super excited. Oh, hello, Agnes. I made this just this morning. That's so good, isn't it? They're super cool. So everybody is super excited about going away. Joseph is beside himself at the moment. We, what have you been doing? You've been sorting out this morning. You've been sorting out your blanket. You've been sorting out your no, teddies. No, that was yesterday before we had a bath. I'm bringing You've done your, yes, you've done your teddies, haven't you? Yeah. The girls have done their teddies. They've got them all in one place. Um, Joseph has got his teddy out. sorted out and he's also got his blanket sorted out, his weighted blanket. And what else are you taking? You're taking your Squishmallow teddy? Squishy. Squishmallow, he's, he's a little bit, I, th I think it's all processing in Joseph's yeah. mind at the moment about going away tomorrow and where we're going to be. Daddy. So we've been showing him on the video where he's going to be sleeping and stuff like that quite a lot, just so he, so he knows what's going on. Yes. Do you know this? What? I'm bringing two of my teddies that I got for my birthday. Are you? Did you two yeah. new ones? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, right, so what have we got on today, you ask? Lots of packing. Zoe's been packing already, but there's a lot more packing to do. Um, so she's going to show you, she's going to talk to you about all of that kind of stuff um, and show you these new, like, packing. She's got these packing rolls and stuff. Um, yeah, she's got these packing rolls that you can put, like, so the only way I can explain it is like a, it's, it's almost like a, an old style shoe holder, but what you do is you um, you put a day a, each day's kind of outfit if you like in the in, anyway. I, I can't explain like Zoe can explain it. She'll show you later. She's been doing all the packing um, upstairs and it's all upstairs. She's going to be talking to you about about that a lot. I meanwhile I've got to do the school running. Yes, we're even they're even doing the teddies today. Who's doing the teddies today? Oh, he's back. Teddies. Oh, okay, so Zoe's doing all the packing. I've been doing dealing with the other stuff. Like I've got to get the bins out, so so the, cause the bins are going to get collected while we're away. Uh, got to get the cars sorted out. So got the cars sorted out. I've got to go to the pharmacy to pick up any medication that any, anybody needs. Um, what else have I got to do today? I've got to pop into the doctors myself because um, they want. I've got a checkup, believe it or not, this morning. So I've got an, I've got an ECG and blood this morning just as a checkup. So I've got to go do that this morning. Uh, and then, no, sorry, darling, you stay at home because you can't come in the doctors with Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, I would love for you to come in the doctors with Daddy. Yeah, but unfortunately you can't. I know, I know I hit my finger yesterday. And um, lots and lots of stuff like that, you know, lots of yeah. um, preparation of going away, all the things you've got to do, make sure I've got electric on the key, which we do have. Um, I'll check that, but I'll double check, I'll double check to see if I need any more. I don't think I will. I'm just overthinking it now, really. Uh, but no, it's just get. I'm doing all that sort of stuff today. I'm all, I've also got. Oh, hello. Hello. Your hair looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I like your hair. <clears throat> this lot are all wearing. So this. So this lot are all wearing sports gear today because they're doing some kind of health week, aren't you? Yeah. You'll have seen that on the shorts. They're doing a health week uh, at school, so they're doing. So Miss Sarah's going to stay. Okay. She's been dancing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, so that's that. She's doing. She's doing. Definitely doing a 
doing Agnes class. Yeah. Oh, she, she's she's not, um, we're not sure that she's doing our class. Yeah. Oh, no. oh Joseph. No. Uh, yeah, so, so their dance teacher's going in today to teach that to, to, as part of the health week. So the health week's going on. But essentially, my role today is just doing all the other stuff. So I'm going to try and get some of the stuff to the tip as well today. Um, I have been meaning to do that all week, guys, honestly. But it's been so many things on. And did you see the grass? So we've managed to break the back of the grass now. There's only a bit more to do. And we're going to keep a wild area. We're definitely going to be doing that. We're going to keep a wild area. And somebody suggested getting a bird table. And I think that's a really good idea. Should you get a bird table as well? For the birds, I think that's a good idea. We'll get a bird table at some point. But that's all after when we come back from holiday. Is yeah? That's when we come remember, back from holiday. Remember when we had like a bird feeder? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah, so I think we'll do that again. We'll do that again. We'll get a bye. Pause. See you later. Bye. That's the teens going off to school. That's them going off to school. <laughs> Oh, it's all go. Anyway, so I'm going to get these off. I've got to get these off to school. Daddy, uh, yes. Do you know one time when you're vlogging? Yeah. You have to show the camera my paper dragons. Oh, she's got thousands of them. Thousands of paper, yeah, paper dragons. Yeah, thousands. Yeah, so I'm going to get them off to school. Uh, she, I've then got to go to the pharmacy hey, and the doctors. Hey, yes. Yes. And it's really loves dragons. She does love dragons. And then I'm going to be doing a tip run to go and get rid of some of the rubbish that we've got um, before we go. We'll try and get rid of all of it, to be honest. Dragons but um here. yeah very exciting times who's excited then for the holiday <laughs>okay guys that's all my errands done this morning i think it is about 11 o'clock now so i've been on the go since nine o'clock so the kids have gone to school i went down to the pharmacy i've picked up all my medication that i need to pick up so i've got all that stuff the medication's picked up uh what else have i done what else have i done uh went to the doctors so i've had an ecg and blood's done as a checkup uh i then went to hopeman oh no i went to the garage i've filled up with diesel for the car i've been to hopeman post office so i've posted a parcel for zoe and i've picked up my lottery for this weekend i think I've done everything I need to do. I now need to get ready to go to the tip because I'm going to take some stuff to the tip run. Um, but I'm going to have a slurp of coffee before I do that. So I'm going to go home now, catch up with Zoe, see where she is, and then get on with the next job. Right. I'm in the boys' room because it's the only place with like any floor space um, to lay all the stuff out on. This is where we're at at the moment. Um, I can't show you properly because you're on a tripod and it won't bend. Um, so, I, I've been cleaning this morning, changing the beds, tidying up, uh, doing that thing that we do before we go away where we have to make sure everything's pristine, um, even though by the time we come back we won't care anymore. Um, but I'm sure I'm not the only person who does it. You know, you have to like clean the ceilings and do random things, wash everything and clean everything before you go away, make sure everything's absolutely perfect and then you go away and then when you come back, it is nice coming back to it being clean but really you realise it didn't actually matter that much but yeah we still do it. So I've been changing the beds this morning. Um, so we've packed up I think all of the little one stuff up to Eva, but Eva stuff's upstairs, up to Toby down here Eva and the girl stuff is upstairs obviously the older ones will pack themselves um haven't packed anything for me or Ben yet I think still need to do that we're getting there kind of um but obviously last time we went away we found packing cubes the girl suggested we use them um Olivia uses them when she goes away and they are brilliant the packing cubes are really really good just just it was a car. Um, the packing cubes are really, really good. I love the packing cubes because they really help with especially things like jumpers, you know, squishing it all in. Um, but whilst they're brilliant for all of us older ones who can kind of keep everything neat and tidy, when we go away, obviously we haven't been away that much, but when we have been away, I tend to not like unpack all the stuff and put it out in drawers and wardrobes and stuff like that because I just can't really be bothered, to be honest. And I hate that kind of having to take it all back out again um, at the end. 
so we kind of live out the bag for the week and that way you haven't got as much packing to do at the end because you can kind of just put your clean i do wash in while we're away obviously um so i can put all the clean stuff back in and um that's just kind of how it works best for us i mean obviously there's clothes out and people put things might hang some things that need hanging um but i don't like unpack every single thing and put it all out in the drawers um because i just don't so having packing cubes and stuff is handy because you can keep like you know your underwear in one and your other bits your tops on your bottom so you can just kind of see where everything is but for the little ones who want to be independent um but will literally just pull everything out of the cubes we've gone for a bit of a different thing this time so the girls have suggested that we do this olivia suggested we do this and i have seen a few people do it online before and it's a really good idea so it doesn't really take up any more space because you're still packing the same amount of stuff but it makes it much easier for the little ones i don't know what ben's doing something to my car outside i don't know what it is um so we have got they are shoe holders you know they go on doors so i i don't want to flip it all out and everything falls out that's the hangers this is what we've got you see i'll show you properly in a minute um so you can pack outfits for them i mean some of them have just got like your t-shirt and shorts but it makes it much easier for them to find their stuff if you want them to wear a particular outfit it's in one and it just makes it easier for them to see everything and then you can just roll it up and put it in the bag and you're done it's genius and they come with little hangers so you pretty much just unfold it and hang it on the door when you get there and that's it that's all you've got to do hang it on the door you're done um this one is agnes's one I will show you it properly in just a second. Oh, I've just flipped half the stuff out. Um, obviously, we're not going abroad. If we were going abroad, I'd just pack nice things, like summery stuff. I don't mean nice things, I mean summery stuff. We're going to the Cairngorms and the weather report at the moment is changeable, um, which means it could be sunny or it could be raining. It could be warm or it could be cold. So we've kind of had to take twice the amount of stuff because um we don't know that it's going to be hot or cold last time we went in july the beginning of july last year we took all summer stuff which was really stupid because we've lived in scotland for 10 years we should have known better um but we were really hoping for the weather to be good and it didn't it rained all week um so people were cold so this time i've made sure we've got enough jumpers um that we've got enough trousers leggings, leggings shorts in case it's warm because you know sometimes when the sun comes out it's really warm um so you can't really tell what it's going to be so we've kind of had to take both uh but i think you know i'll show you what we've got in a minute for six of them i think there's not you know i don't think it's too much i'm sure that there'll be some people that would pack a lot more minimalistically than me um i can't do that I'm not very good at that. I'm not. I need to have choices. I'll show you what we've got anyway. Okay, so this is Agnes's one. So you can see all of her outfits, jeans, jumpers. Um, those are the hangy things. These are great for... Um, I've not done it with the boys' ones. I've only done it with the three girls because the boys' ones are sim more simple. So Joseph's got his jammers. And then he's got his shorts and his t-shirts are in this one because boys are just a lot easier to pack for um but yeah so hang it on the door they've got all their stuff that they can kind of access really easily and then you just roll it up literally roll it like this and like that and it'll go in the bag i think i can probably we've got the massive sports direct bags over there um so i'll probably get a couple of them in there the old ones have all got their own bags 
Uh, me and Ben have got a big sports direct bag. But yeah, so there's not that box. That's a box of packing cubes. This stuff here, this here, these bits here and these bits here. That is for all of the six younger ones. Six? Yeah. Which I think is actually quite good. This is all flow stuff. Flow's bits. Toby's. Um, this is a mixture of the three girls, jumpers and pyjamas. Joseph's. Um, I think that's... Whose is that? I think that's Joseph's socks. Um, but yeah, packing cubes. Game changer as well. It makes so much difference. They really do. So you've kind of gone for a mixture of packing cubes and um, these as well. So yeah, it's mainly for the three younger girls because they're at that independent age where they want to do everything for themselves. And I want to let them do things for themselves, but not when it comes to just pulling everything out of the packing cubes and throwing it around everywhere. So this will make it much easier for them to find their things. Plus, they've probably got three times as many clothes as anybody else. Um, Toby, simple to pack for. Toby will only wear shorts. The baby is grumpy today. Shorts and T-shirts, pretty much. I've tried to convince him to wear trousers. He doesn't want trousers. He likes just wearing shorts and T-shirt. Um, just as Noah did. In fact, Noah still does. Um, that's fine. He, he wore shorts all winter. He'll be fine. Um, he doesn't like trousers. He doesn't feel comfortable in trousers. In fact, he's worn school trousers a couple of times. But because he hadn't worn them, he put them on and I realised how short they are and how much he's grown. But we're hanging out for the end of term, so I'm not going to buy any more. She's coming up. She's been to the shop. She's, she's not on her own, obviously. The girls took her. She went with Elizabeth and Isabel. She's not very happy today probably because we're packing and everything's kind of everywhere and her and Joseph are a bit um they haven't got as much attention today what are you doing she's hiding um so yeah we're gonna pack all this stuff in the bags as a couple of bits we're still waiting for to come out of the wash a few pairs of pajamas I've got like 70,000 loads of washing to do before you go away um but yeah, I think we're just going to pack all this stuff in the bags. Toby, uh, Joseph's pretty easy to pack for as well. I have taken a couple of pairs of trousers for him, although he prefers to wear shorts at the moment. But just in case it's cold, I've taken some trousers. Um, I'll probably end up putting another pair in because I'll worry that I won't have enough. But in actual fact, we'll have plenty. But um, it's good because I can obviously do washing as well. I need to be able to do washing. So yeah, I think we're doing okay. And this always reminds me that if we did ever get to go abroad, I always worry about how we'd manage to take all the stuff. Um, but we would. We'd be fine. We'd just have big suitcases. Absolutely fine. Can, can you imagine it? 14 of us going on holiday with 14 big suitcases. And lots of suitcases. I mean, I don't even know where we'd store the suitcases. I don't even know how we'd get the suitcases to the airport. airport. But we'd, you know, if it ever happens, which I really hope it does, I'm sure we'll find a way. I'm sure there'll be a way. Um, so right, we're going to get on and pack this stuff into bags. I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out, but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be Right, so we managed to fit, I mean these bags are massive, I know But we've got all three young girls stuff in that bag there is still a little bit of room on the top. And then in, in here is Joseph's and Florence. And the girls. And the girls combined like pyjamas and jumpers. And then in this one, we've got Toby's stuff. Because I was going to put Toby's stuff in a bag of his own. But it didn't fit. So we've got Toby's stuff in here. And then I've got like Florence's um, all-in-one fluffy suit. And the boys... Uh, Udi's. I've also got travel cot stuff. So I always put a big, um, a big blanket down underneath the sheet on top of like the 
the mattress in the travel cot because just to make it a bit more comfortable and we've got a, a sheet in there as well and then her duvet and we'll just use a pillow from down there and i've also got her blanket to take but it needs a wash so that's getting washed so yeah that's pretty much it for the younger six really so there's that there's three bags for the younger six which i think is quite good so that's all then packed um and now we're going to move on to us i hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where i should be Okay guys, another update for you. So, got back home, put Zoe's spare back on her car because now that's been fixed by the guy that came up through the tires. So Zoe's had three new tires fitted to her car. Uh, that happened yesterday and the guy also fixed her spare. I don't know if I've told you that already. I don't know, I can't remember, the day's like a blur today. So it's half past one now. Uh, right, so basically, filled up my car with junk from the back garden plus um, some extra bits that I wanted to go to the tip. So I've managed to take one complete tip run, if you like, or a run to the recycling centre, which has cleared half the stuff out of the garden. Now, all the stuff that was going damp, all the cardboard and everything that was going mouldy, that's all gone now. Um, it's just left some of the uh, plastic stuff, which I'll get rid of when we come back off for holiday. So it's just tucked away in the corner now, for now. So that's gone. So I've just cleaned my car out because there was a bit, of, um, a bit of cardboard left in the back. So I've cleaned all that out, I've brushed all that out. Uh, yeah, so... Spare tires done on Zoe's car. Zoe's car is now sorted. Um, been and got petrol as well. That's all done. Done the tip run. Um, it's all systems go. It's all systems go. But we're, we're doing all right, I think. Elizabeth's got to go to work in a minute. I think Zoe might be taking her to that. And then it's just the carnage of the evening because we've got um, Charlotte's working tonight and I think Noah is as well. And then I, I don't know what's going on after that. Um, there's all sorts of things going on. There's dancing. <laughs> It's just a typical day in our life, isn't it? It's a typical day in our life. It's um, it's always chaos. Um, and to be honest with you, it, to be honest with you, it keeps us on our toes. It really does. So anyway, cars are sorted pretty much. I just want to check the windscreen wash, and then that's it. So that's a big, massive load of ticks off my to-do list today. Happy days. Right, onwards and upwards. We were just kids, but I knew right away that I will be with you until I stop breathing. I will keep loving you as long as my heart's beating. Oh, we close, promise you won't. Still in love with the way 
That was fun, wasn't it? That was a nice little break. I'm just shut the door, sauce. I don't think she's asleep, but I think she's a bit puffed out now. Was that a nice break? Yeah. Good, right, now it's back on it again. Oh, I love that little beach. Ah, uh, right. The cat's trying to get out of the window. I don't know why. Um. So, I don't actually know if we're getting anywhere or not, uh, because I've been in and out, in and out. Lizzie's gone to work, I've dropped her off. We've got dance lessons in a minute for five of them um, when they come back from school. Charlotte's working tonight, Noah's working. So I've got a to and fro as well. I think majority of things are packed. I think Lizzie's packed, pretty much. My tumble dry has been on all day. I'm just watching the electric tick and tick around. I don't normally use my tumble dry very much, but everybody has done the thing where they've decided that they need all the stuff for holiday. Um, so I had to wash and dry everything. Plus, I didn't want to leave too much washing behind. Again, it's that whole, let's just clean everything, wash everything. So we have the younger one stuff. So that's the younger five. Eva's pretty much packed. Just went for a couple of things out like the wash. Charlotte needs to pack. Noah says he's kind of packed. Um, Lizzie's pretty much packed. The girls are packing at the moment. Again, they kind of do themselves. I've kind of packed. That bag might or might not be, it's a bit Cornish, the majority of my stuff. I'm really crap at making choices when it comes to clothes about what to take and what not to take. I'm so totally rubbish. Um, and plus, I don't know what the weather's going to be like. And I'd like an opportunity to wear nice clothes. But if it's going to be cold and wet, then I want it to be warm. So there's a bit of... So I've probably got too many jumpers. But again, I don't want to get cold. Um, I think I think I might have packed everything. Ben has a little bit at the end. It's not packed for him yet. I can squidge my stuff up. It's not It's not really going to take up all that space. There is quite a few jumpers in there, but Ben doesn't need much space. He'll be fine. Um, mine's many jumpers. Pyjamas. There's there's plenty of space. We can fit his stuff in, no problem. Um, are you all right up there? Um, yeah. Uh, I think we're kind of getting there. I haven't packed any toiletries or anything like that. That'll all have to be tomorrow. Because I'm going to be in and out most of the evening. Um, and I have to get some shopping as well to take with us. Just some stuff for when we first get there. Because we'll do a shop when we go down there. Um, but just some stuff for Saturday morning. Because obviously we won't be arriving until Friday night. So some stuff for Saturday morning. And just the essentials. Like ketchup. And stuff. So yeah, I see. I'm terrible because I think I'm going to forget stuff, and I get stressed because I don't want to forget stuff. But in actual reality, you just make do with what you have, don't you? You don't wear half the things that you take with you, but you take them anyway. Um, we're getting there. How we feel in the car, I don't know. But we're getting there. Ah, uh, the kids all want to take like half of their beds with them and the teddies and so I'm having to whittle it down a little bit as to what they can take I think that might be them home from school it is I'm going to go and get on with the rest of the carnage day
Okay, guys, it is half past nine. I don't even know how it got to half past nine. It just is. Uh, we've got loads done today. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, I've still got loads to do. Still got loads to do. Got loads done today, though. Uh, but it's now time to stop for dinner uh, before we have to pick anybody else up from work or anything else like that. But it's been a very productive day. And then it's on to tomorrow, uh, which is going to be packing the cars and everything, isn't it? No. Yes. Packing the cars and all that stuff. Um, so we'll I'm see what. Hungry. Yeah, definitely. Right, it's time to stop, guys. So, uh, really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget all of our social media in the uh, video description for our Instagram and Facebook and like good stuff. And that just leaves us to say uh, thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.